I believe we're getting close to the end of the game. Blackwater. We have a full moon. Music, so we gotta dance. <laughs> okay. Can we do this mission now? It has an X. Probably we can, right? Go, Marta, go! Yes! Finally, you can do it. The prodigal son returns to ya to Yali? Yali? Yala? Professor! Oh, it's you, dear boy. Come in, come in, and shut the door. What's going on? You leaving? Yes, sir. Yes, I am, sir. You know, you know the thing? The thing that is vital, without which scholarship cannot proceed, sir? No, I don't. I'm not having a bullet in your flipping neck, sir. I am not cut out for this. No, I'm not cut out for this at all. <laughs> nope. They're fucking savages! Savages! I think we all are. Not me, sir. I'm from Connecticut. I'm a professor at Yale. I write books. I do not deserve to die out here. Where's my tincture? Oh, yes. You okay, Professor? Oh, dandy, sir. Just dandy. The hell? Oh, great heavens above! Is that you, John? Hello, Dutch. Oh, it's him. Dutchy old buddy. I think that's buddy. what they call two for the price of one out here in this wonderful place. Maybe so, Dutch. You and, and, and your friend there, the professor? We're gonna kill the both of you. Why you wanna do a thing like that? I don't know. Sport, I guess. Fair enough. Why don't I come out there? We fight. Let the professor go and send your boys back to their family. Well, that, that sounds like a beautiful plan, John. Only problem is, my boys here, they already lost their families a long time ago. We aren't thieves, John. <laughs> we're fighting for something a bit like you. Only we're fighting for an idea. Not just for ourselves. That's beautiful, Dutch. You always were a fine speaker. I was. Now, would you kindly send that academic out here so we can show oh, I don't have my headphones what we really on. Ooh, think about the art of anthropology? Lisa, what are we going to do? I'm going to hand you over to him and watch him tear you limb from limb. What? I'm just kidding. We're going to run across the rooftops. Get you back to your ivory tower. <laughs> I forgot to pull my head. Thank you, sir. Thank you. We're still here. Come on. <laughs> what the <laughs> hell? No. <laughs> 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 Good day, sir. Uh, madam. Look here, sir. What is the meaning of this, this outrage? You two stay down and shut up. Why she gotta yell so loud? Jesus. Come on. We can get to the roof this way. <laughs> Do something! That was so weird. Kill me! Stay back! Or the teacher gets it! Oh, and he got. Oh, shit. Oh, hi. Oh, God. Did he. Oh, God. <laughs> no. One more move, and he's a dead man. Really? Onward! How do I do This is where your journey ends. I thought I'd die again. Yo, dude! I was desperate. My God, you took your sweet time. I know, right? They've got us pinned down on both sides. I 
Jack, you'll be needing this. I was trying to do dead eye, but it wouldn't let me. It was so weird. I'll shoot you in a minute, McDougal. Been exposed to my bullets. You guys got bad aim. <laughs> Look who's talking. It looks like there's some over here. Do you ever stop talking? There they are. What did I shoot at the same time? You're dead. And you're dead. We'll never get off this roof. Shut the hell up. Where's that one? Come on, you can't give up now. I was trying to find the last one. I'm gonna cut your rock. Do something, we'll die up here. He's right here, isn't he? No, of course he went that way. Yo. There he is. Why don't you help? This is the right spot? No. Probably this one. No, what the hell is it? There he is. Dead. Got him. Come on then. Let's make a break for it. Where are you going? <laughs> Go down. The horses should be in an alleyway down here. Stop crouching. What are you crouching for? Oh, oh almost died. All right, get us out of this hell hole. Fast. I knew there were gonna be enemies. Oh, I didn't know. I'll die. Oh god. Who is shooting me? Who do you think you are? Mars done. Come on! Man, he's in the other side of town, dude. Slow down. Hello. Best. Oh, I see him. Let's go. Get up. What are you doing? <laughs> Don't mind us. Let's keep walking. <laughs> Come on. Let's go. Ah, my 
research is complete. Much as I thought, there's no civilizing this savage land. I could have told you that for nothing. Ah, but they'll give me a prize in New Haven for this. <laughs> well, they bloody better. Well, goodbye, Mr. Marston. Best of luck, dear friend. So long, Professor. So long, sir. Thank you, a sight for sore eyes. Got a hundred dollars. Know the truth. What do you want, Marston? My family. I've done what you asked. No, you haven't. This is the land of opportunity, and I gave you the opportunity to save your family, and you failed. How could I possibly reward you? Marston, you're a public menace. We should have had you killed. I wish you had. But since you didn't, where's my family? Oh, spare me the noble savage fall on the sword tripe, will you, oh boy? It's nauseating. You don't wish to be dead. You're an insignificant creature desperately clinging on to life like the rest of the scum in this town. Yeah, I know, it's tough. You like Dutch. He's a charming fellow. He makes sense. He's like one of those nature writers from back east. Only he takes things a tiny little step too far. Rather than just loving the flowers and the animals and the harmony between man and beast, <laughs> he shoots people in the head for money and disagreeing with them. He's a goddamn killer. Now, I'm not a great intellect, but the metaphysical leap from Admiring the flower to shooting a man in the head because he doesn't like the flower is a leap too far. So, I know it's easy. <laughs> you see, we, me and Archer, we're the bad guys. We enforce the rules. Now, while the rules may not be perfect they're really not so bad exactly what's the alternative yeah see i'll tell you what the alternative is it's not complicated it's about one man and his gun versus another man <laughs> sure civilization may be dull but the alternative mr marston And the way you enforce this civilization, this freedom for men to like or not like flowers, or whatever in God's name you were just talking about, is to kidnap a man's wife and son? Well, I know there's contradictions. I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> As I said, I'm not a great intellect. Now. After the debacle with the army and the bank, we have to put Mr. Vanderlyn to rest ourselves. Will you help us? No. Do I have any choice? Now that you mention it, no. Then what was that pretty speech in aid of? Well, rightly no, but it sure felt good saying it. <laughs> Shall we, Mr. Marston? Ooh, it's the gallon gun. <gasps> and I get to use it. Now keep your finger off that trigger until we get out of Blackwater. Go quick! Take a look at this 
Have you seen this? Dumbled is crazy. Oh, hello. I was about to shoot you. <laughs> I was gonna shoot them. <laughs> horses. So many horses. They're all just chilling. What's the word, Having Captain? a good time. We spotted one of Dutch's men about an hour ago. I think he took the bait. Let's get in position then. Have your men ready to run him down. Look at his you face. God damn it. Are you ready to finish this, Mr. Marston? I guess so. All right, let's do this. Everybody stay alert. Oh, I wanna kill the horses. Keep them back. Oh. I'm pull it up shit. Hello. Hold them up. Try to hit this dude. Oh, I think they're throwing the gun out. Your eyes peeled. You call his help too. Jesus. Just chilling there. Just gonna kill you. There they are! Open fire! Get 
<laughs> and you will know the truth that I suck at games. Well, Mr. Marston, it seems like your mentor, Dutch, no longer looks quite so kindly to his student. That man is insane. So it seems. I think we need to get him before sundown. As you say, Captain. Otherwise, he'll be gone again. And what if I say no? <laughs> now, before I shoot you myself, let me just point out the odds. The one person we have left that can appeal to Mr. Vanderlyn is the last person we know who knows him. Your wife. That won't be necessary. Mr. Ross, Captain, let's go. <clears throat> Mount up, man. Let's move out. Yeah. the road Hey, hi, baby. <laughs> How far is this?
know what? I'm taking a shortcut. Take a shortcut. I hope there's no mountains. Maybe they are. on you crazy oh god there's water <laughs> that's what I get for trying to take a shortcut oh Ooh, look at that water no no I think we're almost here. Nice. Check out Dutch game. No! There we go. No! Why won't you equip your gun? Who's wrong with you? Can I help us out here? Um. What do you think you're playing at? Keep pushing! How so weird? Why couldn't he equip his weapon? He wouldn't let me. Advance into the village. Dude, that guy got shot on the butt. <laughs>
want the same. <laughs> Hello. Didn't that's all then. What the hell? <laughs> Marston, what was that all about? Marston has superpowers. That was weird. Fishes. If it ain't me, it's someone else. Right, Marston. We'll take two men with us. The rest will stay here and take care of the wounded. They'll plant charges at the gate. You and I will provide the cover fire. All right, men. Blow that gate open. Keep them covered now, Marston. Up top! Cover them! Oh. You said they were on top. What did he come doing, damn? Yeah. Let's kill this guy. Hi. Still alive. Oh, there's more coming. Hello. Bye. Hello. Bye. You lost one. Keep up the fire. I don't want to die out here. It's gonna take more than one of you, partner. Take cover, man. Oh, I, I thought I got blown up for a second. I, got a <laughs> I was like, no way. Oh no. Looks like it's me and you, John. You should have stayed at home. Oh, this is gonna be bad. I suggest you follow me. Kill those guards. Okay. <laughs> Working for the government, John. All I taught you. I'm a How do I? Oh, okay. Whoa, what are you doing? They got my family! Your family? Abigail was um. any man's wife, John. And Jack, he's another whore's son. Just oh. like you. Oh, God. You know what? We, you always were. You never had the stomach for this. What? See what? I can see, John. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why doesn't it blow up? Alright, I need to get closer. Going this way. No. I know, that's what I'm doing. What do you think I'm doing? There's no more surprises! It ends here! So this is it? Your savage utopia? Up here in the oh god, Marston, you're in the wrong spot. It's all in your head, Dutch. That's what drove you insane. What have you done? Apart from murder people. What have you changed, Dutch? More than you'll ever know. Give it up. You're trapped up here. Army's got this place surrounded. Ha! You always were a bad liar, John. Oh, blow those dynamites. Oh, God! Jesus, one shot and he kills me. <laughs> no, I was trying to shoot the dynamites. Sniper. I don't trust this. I'm not sure they blow me up. I what you're killing for. You never could see what I could see, John. You were too scared. Son of a bitch. Aha. Uh -huh. Gotcha. Why are you running away? It's like, like fire. Alive, oh no. Chase dodge. Okay. Oh, so not this way. <laughs> <laughs> Not that way! 
<laughs> I'm sorry, Marston. It's over, John. I ain't leaving here without you. <laughs> Where is he? I can't see him. Whoa. Do we gotta go in there? Okay, fine. Um, inside here? Where'd he go? Oh, he went upstairs. And he went this way. Ooh, we're in a cave. All this. There he is. You're just like me, John. You can't change who you are. I ain't like you. What is over here? Why is he with these bullets? That's where you're wrong. <laughs> no. Hello again, John. Hello, Dutch. We gotta stop meeting like this. Sure. I got a plan, John. You always got a plan, Dutch. This is a good one. I don't doubt it. We can't always fight nature, John. We can't fight change. Can't fight gravity we can't fight nothing my whole life all i ever did was fight and give up dutch but i can't give up neither i can't fight my own nature that's a paradox john you see and i have to shoot you when i'm gone They'll just find another monster. That bunk crap. They <laughs> because they have to justify their wages. That's their business. Our time has passed. Yeah. Nope. Yeah. And but what the okay. I thought he was gonna smash that. <gasps> oh, he did. He gone. Well, he said they didn't have to kill him. So at the end, you didn't have the guts to shoot. The man's dead, Ross. Sure. Can I see your gun? No. It's gonna shoot me. He's gonna shoot him. Wow. Oh, trust me. It looks better in the report that way. Where's my family? Uh, your wife was killed in a prison riot last week. So. 
I'm only joking, dear boy. They were sent back to that Scrabble ranch of yours in Beach. I believe we're getting close to the end of the game. Blackwater. We have a full moon. Music, so we gotta dance. <laughs> okay. Can we do this mission now? It has an X. Probably we can, right? Go, Marta, go! Yes! Finally, you can do it! The prodigal son returns to ya to Yali? Yali? Yala? Professor! Oh, it's you, dear boy! Come in, come in, and shut the door! <sighs> What's going on? You leaving? Yes, sir, yes, I am, sir! You know, you know the thing, the thing that is vital, without which scholarship cannot proceed, sir. No, I don't. Not having a bullet in your flipping neck, sir. I am not cut out for this. Not, not cut out for this at all. <laughs> nope. They're fucking savages. Savages. I think we all are. Not me, sir. I'm from Connecticut. I'm a professor at Yale. I write books. I do not deserve to die out here. Where's my tincture? You okay, Professor? Oh, dandy, sir. Just dandy. The hell? Oh, great heavens above! Is that you, John? Hello, Dutch. Oh, it's him. Dutchy I think old buddy. That's what they call two for the price of one out here in this wonderful place. Maybe so, Dutch. You and, and, and your friend there, the professor? We're gonna kill the both of you. Why you wanna do a thing like that? I don't know. Sport, I guess. Fair enough. Why don't I come out there? We fight. Let the professor go and send your boys back to their family. Well, that, that sounds like a beautiful plan, John. Only problem is, my boys here, they already lost their families a long time ago. We aren't thieves, John. <laughs> we're fighting for something a bit like you. Only we're fighting for an idea, not just for ourselves. That's beautiful, Dutch. You always were a fine speaker. I was. Now, would you kindly send that academic out here so we can show oh, I don't have my headphones what we on. really Ooh, think rip. about the art of anthropology? Please, sir, what are we going to do? I'm going to hand you over to him and watch him tear you limb from limb. What? I'm just kidding. We're going to run across the rooftops. Get you back to your ivory tower. <laughs> I forgot to my headphones. Thank you, sir. Thank you. We're still here. Come on. Oh, what the oh. hell? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh. <laughs> Good day, sir. Uh, madam. Look here, sir. What is the meaning of this, this outrage? You two stay down and shut up. Why she gotta yell so loud? Jesus. Come on. We can get to the roof this way. <laughs> Do something. That was so you weird. Kill me. Stay back. Or the teacher gets it! Oh, they got- Whoa, shit! Oh, hi! Oh, god, did he- Oh, god. <laughs> no. One more move, and he's a dead man! Really? Onward! How do I do- This is where your journey ends. How do I do die this again? Yo, dude! I was desperate! 
My God, you took your sweet time. Yeah, all what right. They got us pinned down on both sides. I doubt you'll be needing this. I was trying to do dead eye, but it wouldn't let me. It was so weird. I'll shoot you in a minute, McDougal. Is he wearing different clothes? Let's go, let's go see Bonnie. <laughs> Ooh, doggy. Let's go see. How do you do, sir? Are you ready? Let's haul out. Easy. Oh. Let's go, Jack. Is there a problem with your horse? Come on. Come on, it's this way, son. Going for a ride. Whoa. Oh, moose. Is that a moose? No, it's not a moose. <laughs> How you feeling, Jack? I'm feeling fine, sir. We Easy. got a decent ride ahead of us. Yeah. I've never been to Hennigan Stead. How do you know these ranchers? I met him while I was away. Well, we're going the our way this way. People. We need folks we can trust right hey, now. Hal. I was sick and they looked after sick me. Hal. You sure got a lot of questions. I, I don't often get a chance to ask them. Was it a gentleman's complaint? What do they call it? The morning drip? Good God, boy, no. Where do you learn these things? Uncle told me about it. Well, he'd know, the dirty old fool. No, I just got weak for a while. Acted foolishly, got in trouble. Guess I was a little out of practice. Hey, Paul. What? Where were you all that time? Where'd you go? What'd your mother tell you? She said it was some kind of important government business. That's about right. Some people thought I owed them some favor. Why did they take us away? They thought it wasn't safe for you here by yourself. Those men harm you? Oh, uh, no. They're okay. Some of them even told me stories. I think I'd like to be a government man one day. Or, or a politician. I'd rather you chose an honest profession. Like you, you mean? I know I ain't been the best father, Jack. I made some bad choices. <laughs> we only just got home. Whoa, <laughs> you guys saw that. What is he doing? Come on. I'm sorry. Oh, was it something to do with Mr. Dutch and Bill? Why you went away? Who told you that? I kept hearing people say their names. Look out! I think we're here, right? Yeah, I caught up with Bill and Dutch. Six. We had some old business yeah. needed settling. Oh. <laughs> see you again. Some of our public servants in Blackwater sent you back on another homicidal errand to protect and save us from Lord only knows what. Thankfully not, sir. I was hoping you might still be able to sell me some cattle. My boy, it would be a pleasure. Bonnie's out in the crowd now. She'll be more than happy to help you. <laughs> Take care now, Mr. McFarland. Good luck. Yeah, let's go see Bonnie. Jack, oh God! You're gonna have an important job. I'm going the wrong way, sir. It's body. Good Lord, do my eyes deceive me? A devil walks among us. I 
I said I'd be back when this was all over, Miss McFarland. After the barn fire, you remember? Of course I remember. I just didn't believe a word of it. So, you've come for some cattle? Yeah, I'm finally starting up my farm again. Or, trying to at least. You'll be fine. You've been taught well. Come on, then. Training. How's your wife? She's well, I think. We haven't had much time to talk yet. Well, I'm glad you're back together again. It's gonna take some time. We've all been through a lot. Looks like you got him under control. I best get back to Paul. No, nice don't to see you again, Mr. Farland. We're gonna wander around. To Let's the go. river. That's a bad idea. It's raining. Get a bad feeling about this. Are you up? Nothing bad happens. Let's go. You're doing a good job, son. Just lead them straight up the hill towards home. Will do, huh? I'm watching you. <laughs> Come on. Come on. We're doing pretty good so far. Kill the cows! You did I kill the cows? I think that's all of them. Jack! Wait there! I'm coming! Rip! No! <laughs> you alright? You're not hurt, are you? 
We lost three cows. I think I shot one. <laughs> There's one dead right there. There's another one. Another person. Nope. Where are you going? Move it. Where are you? <laughs> what are you cows doing? Keep it off. Let us go. No, turn back. Stop wandering around. That's me right there. <gasps> Got more. Oh, no. You're going. Give back and herd. Come on. Don't be afraid. I'm watching you. Yeah. What the hell? No. That's so weird. All right. <laughs> Game's gonna crash for a second, Jesus. <laughs> That's a fine herd we got ourselves. Really? Now? Really? Yep. I guess we are. Here. Who's that? Whoa. Fine, get out. You gotta close this, Grandpa. Job, son. Nice shoot. Thanks, Pa. Make a rancher of you yet. Cows are it well. Was it my fault? Come back between 11 a.m. and 6 p.m. Alright, then we'll go to sleep then. Looking chair zone. <laughs> Ooh, breakfast. I mean dinner. What you cooking? Same thing I've been cooking the past fifteen years with the hope of poisoning you. Ain't working so well. <laughs> Not yet. To be honest, though, tastes bad enough to kill a man. <laughs> I never was much of a cook, but I did try to be a good wife. And you have been. <laughs> Given what we was and what we came from, I think we've gone and done okay. I look at Jack, I look at him, and I think we've been blessed. Maybe he can be something more. He's a good kid. He can be whatever he wants to be. He ain't gonna be no frontier gunslinger killing and running those gang, though. <laughs> that way's over. Railroads, and government, and motor cars, and everything gone and done away with all that. And he ain't gonna marry no orphaned working girl running with a bunch of hucksters, neither. If he meets one like you, I hope he'll marry him. <laughs> Stop. For an illiterate 
Gunslinger, you sure know how to make a girl blush. <laughs> God damn, Crows! John! You have got to go deal with them? They've broken into the silo again and are eating all the corn out from it. Of course, my angel. Wait, get out of there! All right, all right. Go on! Scat! Shh. Scare the crows out of the silo. Go! Oh. Um. The hell, man? There's no shoot in the air. Get out of here! Where's the corn? Damn crows. Crawl is fucking in the whole corn. Yes. <laughs> One just left it inside and it, and it took half. <laughs> it's like yum yum, tasty corn. Hello, old man. Bonnie McFarland. She's a friend. Mm. Saved my life when I went after Bill and nearly got myself killed again. Oh, now you two's in the habit of sending each other letters. How very nice. It weren't nothing like that. What's it say? I don't know. I can't. Well, you know I can't read. Give it here. You read that thing out loud. I ain't hiding nothing. Dear Mr. Marston, stop. Need corn sacks, stop. Emergency, stop. Weevils and moths ate entire county supply, stop. Can you help? Not exactly the most romantic request now, is it? I guess not. She saved your life, you say? Yes, ma'am. Well, then you're gonna have to help her and her family out. We've got a plentiful supply of corn sacks over near the silo oh, by the one thing uncle didn't manage to have stolen while we was gone okay hurry back john and john what's she like well uh, you know a little bit like you i guess she's a woman in a man's world <laughs> mm. all right get in the wagon Whoa, he flew in the wagon. Wait! You coming? I changed my mind. I'm coming with you. <laughs> well, Ooh. come on, man. Let's get going. Go off again without me. 
Thank you. I had a gun to my head, John. You're forgetting your marriage proposal. Very fun. No. So, they learned pretty quick what would happen if they laid a finger on me. What are you going this way for? I don't know. It wasn't them or being there. I didn't care about that. I've been in far worse situations. It was the wait. I didn't know if you was coming back. Of course I was coming back. You were nice only made supposed it. to be gone for a couple of days. That was a good Omega in the time. Dry goods. Tobacco. You came. Thank you so much. We lost the entire harvest. Miss McFarland, I'd like you to meet my wife, Abigail. Oh, ain't you quite the gentleman all of a sudden. It's a pleasure to meet you, Mrs. Marston. Likewise. Thank you for saving my husband's life. And for teaching the miserable goat some manners, among other things. I didn't teach him anything. I know better than to try to change a man. You should meet my father. Oh, people can change, Miss McFarland. John and I have to believe that more than anybody. This is a decent first harvest for you, John. You should be proud. That's good land you got there. How are you feeling, Mrs. Marston? From what your husband told me, it must have been awful for you. I've been through worse, and I knew he'd be back before too long. He can't cook a meal to save his life. Abigail? In my darkest hours, when I was most homesick, just the thought of one of your rat meat stews kept me pushing forward. Well, about as amusing as a weak saddle sore, ain't he, Miss McFarland? You're gonna start yammering about women's work, John. I'd say you might be in the wrong company. I'd say so, too. I never felt so outnumbered. <laughs> I had a feeling. Uh, I had a feeling she liked Marston. Mm 
drive Abigail home. So that was the famous Bonnie. That was her, all right. She's pretty. She's normal, like I said. Well, you always wanted to be a rancher. I'd have thought she'd be just your thing. The perfect rancher's wife, if I ever saw one. I already got a rancher's wife. I'm only teasing. I like her. And I'm glad she saved your life. Most of the time, anyway. The McFarlands are good people. She did blush redder than a shepherd's sunset when she saw you, though. I have that effect on women. You clearly had one too many blows to the head. You ain't wrong about that, Mrs. Marston. That's quite a ranch they got there. They'll be us someday. As soon as we get back on our feet. I don't know, John. How many times can we start again? An outlaw and a working girl. We ain't exactly farmers. We are now. Forget that life. It's over. Do you really believe that? We have to. It's the only way we'll ever have a future. The life we led, that doesn't go away. It's never over. You think those government men are just gonna leave us alone now? The old gang's dead. I did what they had. And that's it? The life's proud for killing? We're back together, ain't we? Until they decide you owe them something else. God, I think I was a stupid one for believing I could get out. Uh, Maybe stuck. Dutch, Bill, and Javier were just being honest with themselves. Right, keep going Come forward. on, John. Let's keep moving. You Stand ain't perfect, John, and I sure ain't. But you're better than they are, than they were. Maybe we can't change, but we gotta try for Jack's sake. Even if we have to start again a hundred times, it's better than going back to what we were. How's Jack doing? Angry, upset. He's been through a lot. I hope he's gonna be all right. It's gonna take time. For a while, his world was safe, normal even. Then it got turned upside down again. You ain't saying much about it. I've tried to talk to him, but how do you explain any of it? What do you say when he asks about Uncle Phil and Uncle Gus? Hey, we're family when he was a little boy. He hides away in those books of his. Wouldn't you? It ain't like the real world's done him many favors. He's just been kidnapped. He grew up with the gang. That's no lie for a boy. We did our best to protect him. Come on, John. He saw things no boy should see. Well, now we got a chance to make it right. Baby, nice. How are you? I'm doing pretty good. I think we're gonna serve us something to eat, darling. Whoa, that's not the hello. <laughs> At least she made up the bed. Alright guys, gonna end the video here. Thanks for watching. Bye!